Previously on Dragon Age. Oh, well, it is quite nice here, isn't it? <sighs> this has been very. Wonder what Morrigan's up to. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. And we are here in Arleman's castle. Uh, been a little bit of a while. <laughs> uh, we've, been, we've been sitting here enjoying ourselves in the nice fire um, in the summer months while the world goes by. But now we're back in the autumn slash winter time to deal with the unrest in Ferelden. So this is what we're going to do. But also kind of looking around the castle as well, because why not? It's not like we only had seven months in this castle. I have insufficient skill for such things. And I should probably be already aware of that at this point. This is where I need my gang. Hello. I'm glad you decided to help. With the Nora's knowledge, we have a far better chance against Loghain. Hmm, yes. Do you truly think Loghain's daughter would turn against him? From Alina's story, he turned against her first. If he truly intends to sacrifice her, I think it would be strong motivation to break the parental bonds. In any event, I would far rather have the opportunity to ask such things of her than simply hear about her murder. If Honora speaks out against Loghain, hers would indeed be one of the most powerful voices of the Landsmeet. What do you know about Queen and Aura anyway? She and Kaelin were promised as children and practically raised together. She was a smart child, knew how to listen, and how to blink those big blue eyes and get anything she wanted. Her mother's looks, her father's brains, and the best tutoring Merrick's money could buy. It's a potent combination. Well, listening is important. I mean, I don't really trust this uh, Alina. You know, it feels like she knows a little bit too much. She's obviously more than a maidservant, but I imagine it's useful for Anora to have a trusted attendant who can move more freely than she herself. And consider what aid she and the Queen might be to us. If Anora has truly turned against her father, she becomes the one thing we lack. Someone with a true understanding of Loghain's plans and allies. With her guidance, we can form a far more successful strategy against him. But if I break in, they can frame me for her murder. No more easily than without you there. There will be none to see it, save those who are already loyal to Loghain. And given your reputation, Warden, I think Loghain knows it's safer to carry out his plots far from where you can disrupt them. I should get going. As you like. My palace is your palace. Well, I know that, because I've been here for seven months enjoying it. Alistair? I haven't been here in a while. They've changed the dining room. Something on your mind? I had another dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I think we need to be extra careful. I thought we were already being extra careful. Does that mean we have to be extra, extra careful now? <laughs> Great. Extra, extra, extra careful. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is a blight. Well, if you only figured that out now, Alistair, I, I worry a little bit about your, um... What's going on in that helmet of yours, to be honest. Um... So, the urn of sacred ashes truly does exist. And you were the one to find it. I am amazed. Yeah. It was by accident I found it. Okay, so... Just thinking where we need to go.
You have come to general of the lands, me I'll even wishes to assemble the nobles and choose a new king. However, Loghain is still a thorn in your side, and there is much to do before you can confront him. Keep Eamon informed of your latest exploits. You can usually be found sitting in his room. I mean, we've already done that. Especially the Queen. Queen Honor Handmaid, Alina, has informed you that the Queen is being held prisoner at Arlima's estate. Queen Honora believes that she may be killed. Meet Alina at the Isles Palace in Denham as soon as possible. Be quiet in here, isn't it? You'd think there would be some nice music or something. Hmm. Indeed, indeed. The usual gang, I think. You are not religious, yes? They say if you toss a coin over your shoulder into that fountain, you'll come back to Denerim. Provided the Alps. Oh, really? We need to go to Denerim. Can I just throw dungeon? something in this well then? Rather than having to fast travel there. That might be. Um... Oh, we're already in Denerim. Hmm. For a moment there, I thought we were in Redcliffe. But this castle looks familiar. Have we just been using the same assets? Have we been lazy? Ooh. Things are changing on you. That keeps happening. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so weird. Hello. I like your changing you armor. You to report another crime? I swear we should just cordon off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Is it really that bad? The lower market isn't deemed important by the Captain of the Guard, even less with Arl Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their Lord such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But Lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how specially picked men are the worst of the lot. Do you need any help? To what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get maker forbid hurt and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a god but I know must the pay which is the important part do a good job and I'll see you get some silver in your pockets maybe even some gold okay what do you want me to do the name of the whorehouse is the pearl beat down any mercenaries that are out of line whorehouse? and send them a message I said beat down not kill let me make that really clear not on fire or exploded or make a nose whatever type of grisly death you can dream up Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Okay, let's do it. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. To the man with the changing armor. I thought it's this changing building as well. This is Do very you miss odd. The cloister much? I heard you were quite happy there. Yes, I was generally. It was peaceful and it gave me a new start. No one knew who I was, but sometimes I am glad I am away and back on the road. There were bothersome things about the place. Well, bothersome people. Some of the brothers and sisters the cat, talk to you like the cat keeps like changing the its fur. Spoke was more pleasing to the maker. And oh, I wait, where they talk down at me. So yeah. sometimes I forget the words oh, to the chant or demon say cat. them wrong. But so what? The maker looks into your heart, no? So it doesn't matter what your lips say. As long as your heart is true, I think you're missing the point, my dear. Sorry, guys, I, I got distracted the by the cat. Light should be spread around the world. It happens. You cannot spread it if those that are speaking the chant are speaking it incorrectly. And after much sweat, blood, and toil, her labors ended, and the world marveled at what she wrought. Well, no mention of dessert. Sure, well, thanks for that. 
Three gold just for standing there listening to your rubbish. Can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? We are, yes. How did you know? Well-armed individuals that visit the rectory tend to be here for that. Chanter Rosamond is tireless and resolute in her duties. I'm sure you can find something of interest on her board. And what do you do here? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this chantry. <laughs> and pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. I've really got to go. Of course, enjoy your visit We've to got the boards to go and get. Hang on, why do I need to talk to you again? Nice to see you again. I just found these scrolls and it's been to ruin. <laughs> really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Sure, but they are a little bit ancient, Let so... Me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script... It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. There you go. I don't really need them anyway. To be with you. I need parchment, quill, and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Mafarath's final days, and perhaps more. Marath, as in Andraste's husband? I know. It's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. How long do you think it will take to decipher? I'm having all day. I can see you've gone for a mud bath. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have well, I'm for glad you're excited. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. Well, that's not bad for one day's work. Seven gold and fifty silver. I think... We should be very happy with that. We can't get in. In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Maker guide them all. Why is the cathedral closed again? And why are you guarding it if you can't remember what day of the week it is? That which you fear, living in the shadow of death alone, I have seen it is only a cloud You're very tired before the sun. The death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denrim, and we've many more yet to hold. What's wrong with your friend? Is he just... Old or got an illness or something? Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago, but he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. It's the lyrium that does this. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. Why doesn't he stop taking it? He's probably addicted to it at this point. He's been taking it for this long. And I know lyrium can be quite addictive and consume you to some extent. He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. Okay. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. I mean, that must be a bit irritating to hear that all day, but then everyone in the Chantry seems a little bit weird anyway. Never been a huge fan. Just one of those things, I guess. Did you know that everything in Dining Room changes colours? Because I didn't. The 
Around here? This looks properly. No, that's not it. Uh, hmm. Down by the docks district, so we need to go that way. Um, we probably need to go via the city map. Hey, look, squirrel. Continued.